Hey everyone, Michael the Tutor 16 here. Today I'm going to be doing tutorial number six in Microsoft Excel. And the topics for discussion in this tutorial will be that we're going to learn how to sort both alphanumeric and numeric data. The advantages of sorting your data would be to ensure that both alphanumeric data, which is A through Z, and numeric data, which is 0 through 9, are in their correct order. This will also help to eliminate any likelihood of errors within your answers. Let's go into Excel and I'm going to show you how to sort your data. As you can see, I've gone into Excel and we're going to use the same data that we did in tutorial number five. I'm going to take this numeric data located in column A and we're going to do an ascending and descending sort. Let's learn what this means first. With regards to numerics, which are numbers, ascending would be 0 to 9, which would be it would put your smallest number at the top and your largest number at the bottom. And then you have a descending sort, which is 9 to 0, which would put your largest number at the top and smallest number at the bottom. So let's do an ascending sort first. The first thing that you'll want to do is to ensure that you're in the Home tab of your Ribbon Toolbar. Once there, you can click and highlight your data range that you want to sort. Once you do this, move your mouse to the editing portion of Excel and click on Sort and Filter. When you click on Sort and Filter, you're given some options and we're going to look at the first two. The first one will be Sort Smallest to Largest, which will be your ascending sort. And then your second option is Sort Largest to Smallest, which is your descending. So let's do the ascending sort first. Once I highlight it, I can click on it one time and watch what happens to all of my numbers on the left. As you can see, it put them in order, ascending, which means smallest numbers at the top, largest numbers at the bottom. Now my duplicate data, my two ones, my two twos, and my two threes, it will not eliminate any of the duplicates, but it will put them in the order in which I requested. So that's how you do an ascending sort. Now let's do a descending. Again, you highlight your data range, move back over to sort and filter, and click on sort largest to smallest. And now you can see it put the largest number at the top and the smallest numbers at the bottom. So that's how you do an ascending and descending sort with regards to numerical data. Now let's go down and let's look at the alphanumerical data. Again, this is the same data that we used in tutorial number five. Let's do an ascending sort, which will be A to Z first, and then we'll do a descending sort, which will be Z to A. Again, you highlight your data range, move your mouse back over to Sort and Filter, and now you're going to choose Sort A to Z because it knows it's working with alphanumeric and not numerical data. So when I click on A to Z, you can see that it put everything in alphabetical order with the A's being at the top and the Z's being down toward the bottom. Now let's do a descending sort by highlighting the data range, going back to Sort and Filter, and choose sort Z to A. And now the Z's are located at the top and the A's are located toward the bottom. So that's how you do an ascending and descending sort on both numeric and alphanumeric data. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have any questions or comments, please send them to me and I'll be more than happy to answer them. I hope you have a great day and thank you for watching.